pro-life, too. The NRA speaks for a majority of Americans. No, the NRA speaks for a handful of gun manufacturers. It has five million members. Funny, Wayne LaPierre bragged about the same number five years ago after Sandy Hook and then again this year after Parkland, so either it's just the NRA's favorite fake news or membership is shockingly stagnated. It's still a lot of people. It's not even 2% of America, and fun fact, it's not even true. You don't know that. The actual number is secret. And with good reason. You know what tipped me off that NRA membership is a lot lower than they claim? When Delta revealed how many passengers had taken advantage of their NRA discount, 13. You could fit all of them in your Gulf Stream. The NRA is a fellowship of hunters. Well, it started off that way, but now it's just a legislative extortionist. It bullies politicians to protect the people who sell guns instead of the people whose lives are ruined by them. Why do you think it lobbied for immunity for gun manufacturers, but not owners? People with guns are less likely to be killed. People with access to guns at home are nearly twice as likely to be murdered. The right to own guns is in the Constitution. Well, so is the right to own slaves. The right to bear arms is an absolute there right. There are no absolute rights. You have the right to free speech, but can't slander. You have the right to practice your religion, but can't do human sacrifices. Okay, so just as long as you don't hurt other people. Assault is in the name. The A in AR-15 stands for Armalite, not Assault. It's the assault that makes it an assault weapon, not the name. Great trivia, though. If you're going to ban things that kill people, then why not ban cars? Cars are banned. If you're underage or get your license taken away, yes, you have to have a license to drive a car but not shoot a gun. And to get that license, you have to take a test, buy insurance, and cars only kill incidentally. Killing is the only thing an AR-15 is good for. Look at all the shootings in Chicago. Gun control never there works. There really is no such thing as state or city gun control. We don't have border crossings so anyone can just drive the guns in from the nearest place with less gun control. We shouldn't pass laws that interfere with people's personal liberty. Tell that to your uterus. If you ban guns, only criminals will have guns. If you ban heroin, only criminals will have heroin. What I'm saying is that gun laws are pointless because criminals will ignore the laws. That's what makes them criminals. And with that logic, why have any laws? Congress knows that gun control doesn't work. Congress knows that it works well enough to ban guns from Congress. Parkland was caused not by guns, but by the FBI not responding to a tip. Here's a tip. The FBI isn't the thread that links America's mass shootings. Las Vegas, Orlando, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, Sutherland Springs, almost 200 people killed by guns, not filing errors. The gun doesn't kill, the person shooting it kills, so don't ban the gun. The anthrax doesn't kill, the person mailing it does, so don't ban anthrax. Gun deaths are the price we pay for our freedom. No one should sacrifice a real child just so you can be a fake John Wayne. It violates the constitutional rights of 18-year-olds not to be allowed to buy guns. You know, the Second Amendment doesn't mention age, so why don't you support the right of two-year-olds to carry concealed weapons? The Constitution is frozen. There were no gay marriages when it was hmm, written. Bet there were. But I can guarantee that there were no AR-15s. The point I'm making is that you can't change the Constitution. The Second Amendment is a change to the Constitution. That's why it's called an amendment. The 13th Amendment was a change to the Constitution. It banned slavery. The 18th Amendment was a change to the Constitution. It banned alcohol. The 21st Amendment was a change to the Constitution. It banned the 18th Amendment. It was all written to be but, changed. As Justice Scalia, may he rest in glory, said, we can't let activist judges be the ones to change it. Nobody was a bigger activist judge than Scalia. May he rest in hell. He trashed almost 200 years of Second Amendment law and ignored its actual wording. Well-regulated, anyone? 
It will be a cold day in that hell when you take my guns away. Girl, calm down. Even the assault rifle band only stopped future sales. The only people who talk about taking away guns is the NRA. Not because it's true, but because it stimulates gun sales. Guns don't kill people. Well, they certainly seem to help. People kill people. Yes, but a lot more slowly with knives. We need to arm teachers. In the past 30 years, not one mass shooting by a civilian with a gun has been stopped by another civilian with a gun. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. You're not listening. That's not a solution. It's a sales pitch. There was a police officer with a gun inside the Pulse nightclub and armed people both inside and outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas well, High School. Then we need to look at the effect of video games. Yes! Let's look at anything but guns. Here's the thing. Japan has no gun violence. Pretty sure they watch video games. It's not a gun issue. It's a mental health issue. No, it's a people with mental health issues with guns issue. A paranoid person isn't going to paranoid school children to death, but a paranoid person with a gun might. Mental illness is still the issue. People suffer from mental illness in every country in the world. Only America has mass shootings every week. Okay, I'd be in favor of stopping the mentally ill from having guns. Funny you'd say that as depriving 20% of Americans of guns would be the biggest form of gun control in history. There aren't that many mentally ill people in America. Have you been on Twitter? You just can't do anything about guns. Said no civilized country in the world except America. Okay, you caught me. Give me such ridiculous talking points. But you're still going to say them, aren't you? Oh, you really don't know how America works, do you?